Talk News Tesla reporter Jeremy Johnson says the Tesla Cybertruck will have an option for solar panel and ECAT system. This will allow for the truck to charge itself in the sun and possibly be able to keep the vehicle charged for users who don't drive long distances for free. And in this report, I'm going to also give you some insider information about what Tesla CEO Elon Musk apparently has said about the new date of Tesla Cybertruck deliveries. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel, join our community for daily Tesla news, and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Tesla's Cybertruck will have an add-on option for solar panels an ECAT system that will allow the truck to be charged from the sun while driving or parked. Jeremy Johnson from Torque News Tesla reporting team reports this morning. This has profound implications for those in sunny areas and may mean re rarely having to charge your Cybertruck for those people who don't drive long distances and have short commutes. So solar panels for the Cybertruck. Elon Musk stated that there will be an add-on option for the Cybertruck for solar panels um that will charge it about 15 minutes per day of being in the sun while fold out wings with fold out wings it would be 30 to 40 miles per day i would suspect that the fold out wings would be an even more enhanced version of the solar panels add-on now this makes really good fr sense friends because through two years ago i was in germany and i in munich i met the representatives and the executives of the sono motors who has the sono car a solar car for solar car i believe and there it with they didn't have any the the, the sono car did didn't have any fold out wings and it was charging between 15 to 20 miles cybertruck being a little bit bigger makes sense to charge 15 miles on a sunny day without the fold uh, fold out wings but with fold out wings it will be 30 to 40 miles a day makes great sense and a lot of people like i live in north carolina and a lot of people here if you're or living if you're living in a smaller cities your daily commute is no less than 30 miles if you go to work and come back on an average day so you may have your cyber truck charging itself for free and that would make a lot of sense and i think down the road as the solar panel technologies grow i personally believe that we can get at least several hundred miles on a on a electric vehicle uh, charging itself while on the sun and this is the way we should go anyway now for someone like me who says jeremy johnson who will use the cyber truck as my daily commute vehicle having the solar panels would be a real uh, really nice add-on most days i would be driving my cyber truck and parking it at work and then driving home at the end of the day whatever sun the truck got would contribute to its charging i may never have to pay for charging if you if i have short truck now will other tesla vehicles charge themselves too i mean wouldn't it be great if we had solar panels on model 3 model y and model s and get at least 10 miles a day as long as you can now that is going to make a really nice change over the course of the year will tesla offer add-ons for other tesla vehicles Vehicles to have solar panels and be able to charge while in the sun i think says jeremy johnson from torque news tesla reporting team it would be difficult to retrofit old tesla vehicles to this but new models certainly could i am sure there are some talented engineers at tesla who could figure out how to get the solar panels to work says jeremy tesla could also make it easy to hook up a solar panel array that folds up and can be put on top of the tesla car when it is parked i think there are people who would use that says jeremy so i think you know i, I would like we do with our cell phone friends i will not be surprised if we can have a third party company or companies uh, building add-ons to add to your tesla uh, to have a solar panel on your tesla or maybe like a solar things uh, smaller solar panels I, I will not be surprised if we could have those on teslas from third-party companies so what do you think friends about the cyber truck being able to charge itself with solar panels would this be something you would buy as an add-on on the cyber truck if it was available now i want to tell you about the new date that was apparently in, the, in an insider conversation uh, at tesla and cyber truck elon musk updated tesla cyber truck delivery target 
hinting at novel futures. Uh, this comes from uh, Tesla uh, news provider Sawyer Merritt and Simon Alvarez from Tesla Radi. It appears that the Tesla Cybertruck's customers' deliveries, customer deliveries will indeed see some notable delays. You have to have patience, friend. But the wait for the all-electric pickup truck would likely be worth it, says Simon Alvarez. This was highlighted by Elon Musk during a recent all-hands meeting with the Tesla team as per information shared by several individuals familiar with the topics discussed in the event. As I tell you what was announced, let me know, friends. Uh, are you going to wait for Cybertruck? Or would you like to wait? Have you ordered or pre-ordered? If you are a reservation holder, uh, would you wait until 2000? 2023. So the Tesla Cybertruck was initially intended to be released in late 2021, in a few months, with volume produ production at Gigafactory Texas hitting its stride in 2022. Amidst the ongoing chip shortage and supply chain issues, however, it appears that Tesla was meeting substantial challenges in ramping its all-electric pickup truck. These challenges were highlighted by brief updates and hints that the company posted on its official website, as well as some information mentioned during the AI day. Sawyer Merritt, who provides uh, reliable Tesla information on Twitter daily, he says, the Cybertruck has been delayed to late 2022, and quote, production starting late 2022 and volume production in 2023. And he also tweeted that on September 29, just several hours ago, Elon is expected to grow by a factor of 10 at least. What this means, I don't know. Elon is expecting to grow by a factor of 10 at least. Let me know your thoughts on this, friends. What do you think that means? In early August, Tesla formally moved the Cybertruck's estimated customer deliveries to 2022. This delay was practically reiterated during AI Day when Elon Musk noted that Tesla's next-generation autopilot computer hardware 4.0 would likely make its debut with the Cybertruck in about a year or so. These, together with reports that Tesla's 4680 battery cell production line is meeting some challenges, suggested that the Cybertruck's deliveries may be moved back. I personally don't expect the Cybertruck production unless Tesla has a um, solid supply of 46 AD battery cells. Now, we know that uh, Tesla is looking for partners to produce the 46 AD battery cells in China. Um, we know that Tesla will not be able to produce them in Germany until the battery factory from Gigafactory Berlin is up and running, which... Uh, probably will be up and running. I mean the battery factory, not Giga Berlin itself, but the battery factory in Giga Berlin will probably be up and running, in my estimation, next summer, uh, not earlier than spring, uh, next summer. And uh, so if they start producing 4680 batteries uh, next summer, then the first production of Cybertruck is likely to come uh, end of 2021, early 2022 mass production, uh, 2023 for mass production of Cybertruck. These are my estimated dates, but you know this coincides well with the current realities and what uh, Sawyer Merritt is reporting from Tesla meeting. Citing individuals who were part of the all hands meeting, electric vehicle blog Electric added that Elon Musk's Cybertruck comments during the all hands meeting were not all conservative. While the CEO of Tesla admitted that the all-electric pickup truck would be delayed to late 2022 with volume production starting in 2023, Elon Musk reportedly highlighted that the Cybertruck is a quote-unquote special project that almost seems like a glitch in the Matrix, as if the franchise's main character, Neo, had a vehicle. Elon Musk's comments during the all-hands meeting could easily be interpreted as the CEO hyping the all-electric pickup truck, but they do suggest that the Cybertruck would be a one-of-a-kind vehicle even among Tesla standards. This is why, you know, um, Simon Alvarez from teslaradi.com and me myself are thinking maybe it's worth waiting, but you have to answer that question yourself if you are a Cybertruck reservation holder. So the Cybertruck, after all, 
would be loaded with a ton of new technology such as the company's 4680 battery cells uh, and hardware 4.0 computer uh, and also solar panel add-ons with free mileage as the Jeremy Johnson reports this morning but that's not all Tesla also aims to offer all of these innovations and more at the price point below the present cost of base Tesla Model S below the present cost I think the Cybertruck is expected to be around forty thousand dollar the starting price which is I think less expensive the, than the Ford F-150 truck that's a tough endeavor friends for Tesla and one that would take everything that the company has learned over the past years as a producer of mass market cars to accomplish that being said one has to admit that delaying the Cybertruck to late 2022 would result in comp competitors such as the Rivian R1T, which is expected to start deliveries this month. You saw them testing it after a year's worth of delay. And the Ford F-150 Lightning, which is expected to start its deliveries in early 2022, saturating the all-electric pickup truck market earlier than Cybertruck's coming. The Tesla Cybertruck, would then have to demonstrate that it is really a cut above the rest when it enters the pickup truck market, electric pickup truck market, especially as it would be following on the heels of two formidable, traditionally designed competitors. I mean, Ford F-150 Lightning, Rivian R1T, and who knows, maybe some other companies uh, that are going to introduce electric uh, pickup trucks. I think Chevrolet was going to work on one, right? Okay, so friends, let me know what your thoughts are on this. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Uh, is it way too, is it worth to wait until 2020, late, late 2022, early 2023? Possibly yes, but everyone has to answer that question themselves. Please subscribe to our channel for daily news. Please uh, uh, give us thumbs up for this report if you liked it, the information here i look forward to having your discussions in the comment section below and let's go do good care for one another love our neighbors and have a great day peace be with all of you i'll see you soon in our next report